Hi everybody, uh, Jerry here, uh, doing something different today, just a bunch of pictures uh, with some narration, dictation, whatever you want to call it, uh, two days of fishing, a um, bunch of pictures and narration, but uh, we did some bait fishing and we did some fly fishing, so let's start with the bait fishing, and uh, what we did here is uh, I had a couple of stacks of peanuts I wanted to use before the fruit season ended, or the summer season. And uh, so I took out two sacks of these, grabbed them out, and uh, we had some fish. Uh, nothing crazy, well, maybe a little bit later, but uh, had a bunch of sea robins, of course, and a big old sea robin. But uh, Danielle pulled out a pretty nice fluke. Uh, I would say it was a keeper. Um, pretty close uh, keeper fluke. Um, beauty of a fish she had, and that was definitely the fish of the days. Um, I had caught this ear cup, <laughs> um, I put my other rod, I threw some jigs and teasers a little bit, uh, one no blues in the day, um, but uh, plenty of sea robins and uh, fluke and, and evening was pretty cool, there had to be close, oh I would say hundreds of dolphins out there, uh, we saw dozens and in the middle of the screen there was a couple and then the far end of the next picture you can see um, in the upper right hand corner, the dolphin come up, uh, which the camera corner better, but it doesn't. But uh, as the night approached, we had a bunch of blue fish. I even had one. Um, Daniel had a bunch. We doubled up on the peanuts, uh, peanut bunker later on at night. Um, I had a pretty massive bite off clean. Pretty sure it was a shark. And uh, some more blue fish. And uh, of course, there's going to be Daniel pull out a bunch of skates as well. But uh, pretty fun fishing. Um, the next day I, I set out, I wanted to fly rod for some fluke before the fluke totally disappear. And uh, you can still catch them this time of year, definitely, and uh, before the season ends. So I went out to the rocks and uh, I'm trying out some new line here um, on my 10 weight rod. It's 11, so sorry for you, but uh, that's what I do different things to make things more interesting. But uh, try different things and not really new, but I'm trying a new line. Anyway, there was a bunch of mullets out, but there was nothing on them. Uh, I did see a couple of bass. Um, one nice, looked like 15 pounder actually was wallowing by and I saw a smaller one, but they just went on the take. Uh, took a little break and um, keep in mind, um, I fish with all kinds of obtuse angles. So I make sure your hooks are sharp. Here's, I'm gonna pick up a fluke. Uh, on my chartreuse clouser. I believe it has light eyes, about a size one a hook. And I did manage to pull one out um, in the middle of my fishing. I kind of was expecting more out of the deal. But uh, again, remember, make sure your hooks are sharp. You always use uh, all different kinds of weird angles when you're fishing close in around the rocks, um, especially the way I fish. Um, your rocks aren't gonna be pointing straight out. It's just not, you're not gonna have that right presentation. Anyway, sorry to lecture you, but uh, anyway, um, here I'm fishing now with a yellow, uh, I think this is a heavy cloud because the water came up a bit, and I pull out another fluke, um, nothing big, pretty tough fishing day actually, uh, I did see about five, six other fluke uh, come and follow, and they just didn't commit, but I did pull out a couple, um, did see some pretty cool stuff, they had the mullet, Definitely bass around, I can't say that. It should be all over on beaches and whatnot. And, uh, but a uh, great way, great two days of fishing. It's always nice to get out and uh, just keeping it real. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, please like, uh, dislike, comment, uh, whatever you have to say. Subscribe to the channel or not. I really don't care. And uh, the important part is remember always fish your way. And thanks again for watching. And have a great afternoon, night, evening, day wherever you are. Thanks.